Does it ever happen to you? You love someone with all your heart, but they don't do the same for you. Though it is more likely you suffered the same situation. Because 80% of love, if not bound by marriage or something, breaks up within a year. Breakup is hard, but understanding that the relationship was not good enough, it's better if separate is maturity. You know, love is in our basic instinct. It is magical. It can make you super happy, like flying in the sky. But be careful. If you love someone who doesn't feel the same, it can bring you down really fast. Finding real happiness and love means choosing the right person. It's tricky though, because if they don't value your love, it can hurt a lot. It can even make you feel empty and broken. But here's the real deal. You don't have to be stuck in this waiting game. It's time to change things up. In this video, I'll share seven smart psychological strategies to turn things around, making them crave your love instead. Rule number one, don't just give your attention away all the time. Make people earn it by putting in some effort. Your time and focus are valuable, so don't just hand them out to anyone. It's not about being mean. It's about respecting yourself. When you're always available, you become common. Be a bit less available and let them realize that getting your attention is special. Here's how to use the strategy. Calibrate your availability. Before making changes, see how you currently spend your time. Identify activities that drain your energy or leave you feeling depleted. Prioritize ruthlessly. Schedule time for the things that truly matter to you. Work, hobbies, self-care, and quality time with loved ones who deserve your full attention. Batch similar tasks, group errands, emails, or calls together to free up larger blocks of your time. Communicate your boundaries. Be upfront. Let people know you value your time. You can say things like, I'd love to chat, but I'm swamped right now. Can we connect later this week? Or that sounds interesting. Let me get back to you after I finish this project. Offer alternatives. If someone wants to immediately chat when you're busy, suggest a specific time later or propose a different way to connect. You could say, I'm hound on something right now, but I'm free for lunch tomorrow. How does that sound? Or I can't talk right now, but I could send you a quick email with some thoughts. Follow through. Be consistent with your boundaries. Don't drop everything just because someone demands your immediate attention. Embrace, Jomo, the joy of missing out. Be selective with events. Don't feel obligated to attend everything. Choose events that genuinely interest you and prioritize quality time over quantity. Focus on deep conversations. When you do spend time with people, be present and engaged. Avoid the temptation to multitask or check your phone constantly. Disconnect to reconnect. Turn off notifications and silence your phone during focused activities or social gatherings. This allows you to truly be present in the moment. Remember, implementing these tips doesn't mean being cold or unavailable. It's about respecting your time and energy so you can give your full attention to the things and people who truly deserve it. This, in turn, makes your attention a precious commodity and strengthens your connections. Rule number two, you don't really need them to be happy. You can live a great life with or without them. Show them that you're good on your own. Proving you're happy solo is a strong move. You're not desperate or waiting around for them to brighten your day. You make your own happiness, and that's awesome. It's not about being mean. It's about being strong and confident. You're not cold. You're just self-assured. Letting them see your world doesn't revolve around them is attractive and earns respect. Remember, it's not about being harsh. It's about being complete on your own. When they notice you're not depending on them for happiness, they start to see you differently. You're not just another person hanging on. You're someone who chooses to be with them, not someone who needs to be. 
Independence is key. Show them you're okay alone and watch how they pay more attention. You become a choice they want to make. Epictetus once said, happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one thing. Some things are within our control and some things are not. It is only after we distinguish between the two that we can begin to find peace. If you are enjoying this video so far, please give us thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see us more often. Rule number three, stop relying too much on others for your feelings. It's like having your own superhero power. If you manage your emotions by yourself, be your own anchor. Don't put all your happiness eggs in someone else's basket. 80-20 rule can be applied here. You can give the maximum 20 eggs if she breaks them. Instead of giving her 20 more, decide how you leave her. You need to control your feelings. Be the boss of your own emotions. It's not about shutting people out, but handling your stuff independently first. You might often hear, be a man, not a boy. Deal with your feelings solo. Build your emotional muscles. You don't want to lean on others for every little thing. It's not just for you. It changes how people see you. When you stand strong on your own, it's attractive. Others will respect and want to be around you. When you're not emotionally glued to them, you become admirable and someone they see as tough. That's where you want to be. Stick to it. Marcus Aurelius once famously said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Rule number four. If someone treats you like you're not important, it's okay to say goodbye. It's a simple rule. Set clear standards for how you want to be treated. If they can't meet those standards and make you feel like you don't matter, it's time to go. It's not about being mean. It's about knowing your worth. No more settling for being second best or a backup plan. You deserve better to be a top priority. If they can't see that, they're not worth your time. This rule is about showing you won't put up with being treated poorly. It tells them and everyone else that you know your value. When you're ready to walk away if you're not valued, you earn respect. You show you're not someone to be taken lightly. This strength gets you not just respect, but the right kind of attention. Let me give a little example. Your girlfriend has a male best friend and you often find them together, or she talking about him. Now, she might not say anything or say we are just friends, but if you don't like it, the first step is confront her, but in cool manner. But if still they stick to each other, time for you to go silently or loudly your wish. Remember that you can always find someone else in this big world. And if she isn't emotionally invested in you, why would you want them? It's pathetic. Just think about you are thinking about her and that time she's thinking about someone else. That's disgusting. Leave her now. Leonardo once said, never settle for being someone's option when you have the potential to be someone's only. Rule number six, learn to say no. Quit looking for others to say you're good enough. You don't need that nod. Your value isn't in what they think. Lots of times you hope they'd approve, but it's time to stop. Your worth, your choices, your life. They matter because you say so. Stand strong in who you are. Be sure in what you do. When you stop waiting for their approval, you empower yourself. This shift is for you and it changes how they see you. When they see you're not hanging on their every word, they respect you more. They start to see you as an equal. Remember, your okay comes from inside, not from them. Here's some tips on this. Internal validation. Focus on your own standards and what makes you feel good about yourself and your choices. Don't rely on external approval for your sense of worth. Confidence in action. 
Move forward with your decisions and actions with self-assurance. This doesn't mean arrogance, but rather a belief in your own capabilities. Shift in perception. Stop waiting for their approval and focus on your own journey. This newfound confidence will be seen by others, leading to greater respect and a perception of you as an equal. Rule number seven, don't always spill all your feelings. Let them crave your love and attention. Free things are often overlooked and undervalued. Hold back a bit, make them wonder. If you lay it all out too soon, they might take you for granted. Keep a bit of mystery about how much you care. Make them work a bit to earn your love. It's not about playing games. It's about showing your value. Your love is special. Don't just hand it out. When you do this, you become someone they want to win over. Remember, when you don't reveal everything, they become more curious. It's like a movie that reveals its story step by step and hold people engaged all the way. Maya Angelou once said, maybe every love story doesn't need a happy ending, but that doesn't mean it wasn't a beautiful story to experience. This quote emphasizes the value of love itself, even if it doesn't last forever. It suggests cherishing the journey and not giving your love away lightly. Now it's time for me to go. I will see you in the next video. If you have subscribed,